Now, I challenge you, ladies and gentlemen, I challenge you, explain this to me. Every time there was a major piece of gun legislation, or I should say anti-gun legislation, anti-Second Amendment legislation, anti-Bill of Rights legislation, introduced in Congress, either in the Senate or in the House, some nut walked into McDonald's or onto a schoolyard or into a shopping center and killed a whole bunch of people. Explain that to me. Explain that timing to me. Can you? Now, what do you think the odds are that just as the omnibus counterterrorism bill was introduced in Congress and didn't have any support, somebody would blow up a federal building in Oklahoma City? Explain that to me, if you can. You see, it's beyond absurd anymore. They pulled these little tricks just one too many for anybody to be believing it anymore. Yes, we need to be asking an awful lot of questions. I'm going to tell you now that the only obstacle to the New World Order coming together at this moment is the right of the American people to keep and bear arms. That is why there is such an effort to take your guns away from you. You see, the intent of the Second Amendment, the second article in Amendment to the Constitution, was not so that we could go hunting. It was not to protect the possessions in your home or to protect you from burglars. The intent of our forefathers in establishing the second article and amendment to the Constitution was that as long as every American owned a weapon, whether they ever fired it or not, our government could never oppress us just with the knowledge that we all had that weapon in our closet. That's the reason. That's why every time you see a bill to take weapons away from the American people defeated in Congress, four more are introduced immediately. It's a never-ending battle. That's why they lie about the statistics. The truth is, in a town where everybody owns a weapon and everybody knows it, there is almost no crime. 